Hi, good morning. This is Nasser. In this video, I'm going to show you about uh, a PHP project uh, based on uh, PHP, JavaScript, uh, HTML, uh, and CSS. And this is a unique project uh, using uh, basic uh, codings. It doesn't have any coded uh, any code copied from uh, internet or you know written from somewhere else or any tough coding. It it uses very simple coding and uh, very uh, intelligent coding, uh, I would say. And uh, this is a basically a uh, you know project for a student uh, uh, studying in class 10 to 12 or a college uh, going a student or a student of any university which requires uh, uh, you know you know a basic or intermediate level uh, knowledge of PHP JavaScript CSS and MySQL uh, if your course requires such uh, 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 programming skill and you have to submit uh, a similar kind of uh, project to your uh, uh, school or colleges uh, you can simply get this uh, project as a uh, demo or you can learn from it how to build uh, this project uh, comes with a project file which has uh, complete PHP files uh, all the files r related to this project and uh, a small txt file on uh, how to set up this project on your local system or you can also upload it to the uh, online hosting and make the website live and uh, this also has a project uh, report file which is most important uh, if you have to submit your project you also need to submit a cover story uh, or a documents uh, explaining about the project uh, what this project does and what are the codings you are using how this was built and what is the purpose of this project so all these information have been written in the project report file which is a PDF file so you get three files uh, one zip file containing all the project uh, uh, related PHP file, JavaScript, CSS, HTML and MySQL uh, database that you need to import. So that contains uh, all the programming related files, uh, a zip file, then you have one how to set up file which is a txt file and one PDF file. I'll tell you what this project is about. So this project basically allows a user to rent a book. Uh, this has uh, you know this is a live uh, uh, website I have uploaded it on the live website so you can also go to this URL or you can go to my website um, hogdivemedia.com and then uh, go to shop and uh, select PHP project online book rental system for schools this one and then this has a demo link so you click on this link and you can see the demo so basically it has a home page uh, about us page and contact uh, page which are aesthetic pages the book page and the manage this is uh, an option to log into the admin panel and uh, books page is also a dynamic page and all the admin panel related pages uh, uh, which comes after logging in to you know here they are all dynamic so use uh, I think there are like uh, 14 15 uh, pages which are dynamic and just three pages are static here and this code uh, this this project uses uh, HTML JavaScript CSS and uh, the codings are you can uh, go to if you want you can see here all they are designed as in a simple way I have a footer file header file and which are included here header to file is there once you are uh, once a user is logged in so we are usually basically uh, using a session um, here so once a user is logged in it creates a session and based on the session the header is changed and the changed header gives user option to log out and uh, go to the uh, manage folder and then add categories of the book so let's go to the books page here which is a dynamic page now on the left side you see the categories of the books and uh, on the right side you see the books so right now I'm um, looking all the categories and these are the book listed here and if I go to computer I only see categories related to computer I have a sports I have health so I've just added three for uh, uh, products uh, three books in each category just for the demo purpose now if you go to any of the book here let's say I go to this book and uh, 
it shows you the option uh, it shows the name author monthly rent how much is the rent and then you know you can change all these information from admin panel I'll show you and this is the description you can add everything you can add a new book altogether you can add new category and you can click rent now so this uses JavaScript once you click rent now it automatically uh, drop down a form in the form you can simply type your name let's say test and test email at gmail.com phone number one two three four five six seven eight nine zero and rent up to this will uh, ask you about uh, the date and till when you want to rent this book so it's second September today I want to rent it till 20th so I select here and then I'll uh, put my address here is street number 209 street 100 New York it's just a demo address for the demo it's not a real address NY 10023 USA okay and now click rent now so once you click rent now order place successfully click OK and then it will give you the order details the order number and the phone number and the book is rented till this date now if you go to the same book this is main health book of exercise now if you go to the same book this will not be uh, available to rent again because this book has already been rented so once a book is rented already uh, and someone else wants to rent the same book it will gives uh, it will not give them the option to rent uh, the rent now button will be disappeared so this is again uh, using uh, JavaScript and PHP to find out uh, you know uh, if the book is already rented and uh, it will shows the name of the uh, it will show the name of the user who has rented this book until when the book is rented for so let's go to the health option and go to the same book again so I go this to this book and then it says the book is already rented by test test is the name of the user on this date and will be available after this date so try another book so go to this view books and then go to let's say any of this book here you can rent it so this is what about renting the books and uh, you can see the book uh, categories here now if you want you can go to admin panel so admin panel needs you to log in with uh, username and password now I'm logged in here now I can add a book add category so right now if I see science computers political science for sports health travel I want to add one more category let's say category uh, is astronomy I add category category successfully added now if I refresh this page the new category will be available but this category doesn't have any book here right now so if I want to add a book I will add this book book name learn astronomy and the category astronomy author name Neil test this is a test book for astronomy and the rent cost is let's say nine dollars and then you have to upload and picture Okay, so picture you need to select from your end, and uh, I don't have any picture at the moment. Uh, let's say if I go to here, say I add this picture, add book. Okay, so the book is added successfully. Now, if I go here and then refresh this page, I should see one book. So this book is available. Now the book name, rent option is available. The price is there, in USD nine. So this is how you can add books. So this is completely dynamic. Now, if you want, you can also edit categories, and you can see the user who has uh, rented a book. You can make any book available again. So if you s if you go back here, we knew that uh, this book. Uh, in the book section we go to health and then we see men's health this book is already rented let's say if this book has already been returned by the user who rented it so we want to make this book available again so that someone else can rent this book so I will go to this uh, admin panel here and go to return submit option 
and then it will show me the name of the book which is uh, all the book which has been rented so this is men's health book exercise now update rent status yes it's still rented or no book return so I once I update no book return the book will be available to rent again so status is updated now if I refresh this page the book is available now let's say if I do not want this book to be rented by anyone so I can just say yes it's still rented update status but this time it will let's see I refresh the page this will not update it because this doesn't have the name of the user who rented it okay so we have to you know it has to be rented from here so this use uh, this will be working here as a no book returned option now uh, you can add delete categories also and add delete books so now astronomy has one book travel has no book so this is also a dynamic page which calculate the number of books it has so update book details if you want to update any book details you can update it here you can also delete any book from here so this one if I do not want it I can delete it also this page shows if the book is available currently rented or not and then this is uh, the page which shows all the customer who rented a book now if uh, if I see here test okay that user has already been deleted but usually it shows all the uh, uh, name of the user who rented a book so if you want I can just give it a try uh, let's say Neil test now order placed okay now if I go here refresh I'll see the name here Neil test this is the name in book rented out no, September 2nd and the time also uh, this is the time we're taken from the server this is the order number so uh, this is actually uh, updating every information here so this database is uh, the database of the user and then uh, update book details I don't want this book I can delete it or I can edit it edit will give us the option to edit the name and everything upload picture you can upload picture to edit the picture delete I'll delete this success the book is no longer available now if I go here the astronomy should be gone okay now if I want to delete category I'll delete the category too category deleted okay so now we are left with what we, it was so this is about this uh, project and it's a very simple and very uh, uh, lightweight project and uh, if you want I can show you the coding it you know this is the about us page every page uses a footer uh, it has in footer included and the header included and the session file this define uh, determine if the user is logged in or not and uh, there is this admin panel so when you are going to set up this project on a local system you just need to go to this config file and type the username and password here the username and the database so if you're creating database with a different name type the name of the database here then the username which connects to that database which uh, which user has the rights and then the password right now I'm using root login and my root account doesn't have any password on the local system so I'm showing you this on the local system and uh, but if you are uh, working on the live project or uploaded it on the live so you can create this under cPanel uh, a database a username and a password and give user the access full access to that database and then use the same credential here in the file so this is all you have to do and rest everything is here and uh, even if you want to uh, you know uh, if you want to know about the files and how it comes so I'll show you this is basically uh, one file that you get and this file contains uh, three another file one is uh, PHP project online bookstore zip which contains all the information about the PHP you know all the files and uh, this also has this uh, MySQL database which you have to uh, import to your database uh, and then uh, it has uh, a txt file which uh, tells you about the installation step and then an online book rental PDF file this tells you all the username and password uh, the basic username and password for the admin and then uh, uh, 
what this project is about and how something is being achieved and which coding you know highlighted coding like uh, here we have highlighted what we are using for uh, including header and footer and then this also talks about selection of the book what are the coding and how we are selecting the books and uh, this talks about uh, uh, fetching the uh, books from a category or the status if the book is rented so if you go through this so it's very easy to understand and uh, the JavaScript option that we are using so this is a complete project uh, report file which you can submit with your project so you get everything and the cost of this uh, project is uh, you can buy it from hogtimemedia.com and if you are buying it from India if you are from a uh, Indian territory um, then you can buy it from instamojo instamojo.com slash hogtimemedia if you go here you get the option it's for 399 rupees and if you're buying out from outside of India the cost is uh, I'll show you here you can pay uh, from PayPal so it is going to be uh, $9.99 and uh, yep so I think that was all about this uh, and uh, if you have any question you can um, contact me uh, my contact information is written in the description uh, on in this video you can also go to the link uh, which is given there in, uh, in the under the description you can go to that link in order to buy the um, this uh, project and um, this is an immediate delivery so as soon as the payment is cleared uh, through PayPal you get the option to download the file and if you have any problem just let me know contact me from um, you know at my email address you get the email address uh, with the order information too and it's also mentioned on my website howtimemedia.com so thank you so much for watching this video I will be posting a few more uh, projects soon and uploading uh, a lot more project very soon at very discounted rate uh, with combo offer also so till then uh, you can subscribe my channel and uh, click on the bell icon for any kind of notification if I upload you get to that uh, you get that notification immediately and uh, stay uh, connected thank you so much you have a wonderful day ahead